Welcome back. And now at five, we want to get you in the game ahead of a big football weekend here in South Florida. CBS Sports. Mike Cunio is here. Usually we start with the Dolphins and then yep. we leave a question for the Canes. Let's start with the Canes. Big game. Let's talk about the Canes. They've got a game <laughs> against uh, Virginia. This is the final home game of the season. This is the senior class, which has really uh, helped to guide the team all season long, right? They have, and they've been through a lot, uh, dating back to the Nevin Shapiro cloud that was hanging over this uh, program for a long time, then through the days of Al Golden. But that's the goal right there, that national championship trophy. It's a nice the looking senior, trophy. Yeah, these seniors years led by Chad Thomas, Braxton Berrios, Casey McDermott, just to name a few, have really guided these guys to the light at the end of the tunnel. They can see it. This this program hasn't had 10 wins since 2003. They can accomplish that on Saturday against Virginia. They're 19 point favorites, but you can't take anybody lightly, especially at this point in the season. One loss and they could be out of that playoff picture. Let's talk about Malik Rozier. This is yeah. the quarterback, of course. This is his first season as a starter right. for, for, for uh, the Hurricanes. The resiliency, I mean, I understand that he had some personal uh, issues with his family leading yeah. up to last week's game. Yeah, so his dad suffered a stroke uh, in between Virginia Tech and Notre Dame. Uh, so that's a lot for a college kid to have yeah. to deal with. But, but this guy, Malik Rozier, ever since last spring, uh, coaches and players have said he really took on a leadership role. And look, even dating back to when he would fill in for Brad Kaya, He's never lost a game as a starter for the University of Miami. Miami really didn't know what they had in the quarterback situation coming into this year. And right now, they've got one of the biggest names in college going because he can do this. He can run the ball. He can throw the ball very well. When, when he's accurate, he's tough to stop. And he protects the ball so well. He had those three picks against Virginia Tech. Yeah. But other than that, just for the rest of the season. So he's done a very good job for Miami. So I woke up this morning. I looked at my Twitter feed, and I saw you retweeting yeah. the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm like, why is Cuneo retweeting the Steelers? And it's because of the turnover chain? So last night, they had four turnovers of their own. They said, yo, Canes football, can we borrow that turnover <laughs> chain? And of course, the Canes said, yeah, go ahead. You can borrow it. Just make sure you give it to one of the, our guys, like Anthony <laughs> Ciccolo or Artie Burns, so it's in good, safe hands. But yeah, Miami, this turnover chain's catching on, whether it's college or the NFL. Miami, four straight games of taking the ball away four more times. So obviously they've done their part. The Steelers got four turnovers last night and they're like, you know what? We need we, we need, need a chain of our own. We need to jump on this chain bandwagon. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about the Finns real quickly. Only a couple yeah. of seconds left. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of a losing streak here. Can they turn it around this weekend? They're going to You see this? Get in the game. Yeah. Dolphins. That's what you guys got to do. Get, Get in, in the it. game. Get Over in 500 it. yards of offense allowed last week uh, to the Panthers. This interception by Jay Cutler didn't help things at the end of the half. They've got some big issues because Oh, th this game against the Bucks this week, maybe one of their last wins you can definitely, you could maybe circle on the season. They've got to play the Bills twice, the Patriots twice, the Chiefs, and the Broncos down the stretch. So if they want to get into the playoffs again, they're going to have to pick it up and get it into high gear because they are running out of time. Get in the game, guys. Get in the game. Thank you, Mike. You got it. <laughs> Thank you, guys.